Hey, it's Richie Bullets. I took about poundage. I did a video a while back about speed and all that. That's kind of overrated. And I still stand by that video. I mean, it's whatever you could pull back. Now, here's what I want to talk about. Uh, don't be ashamed to lower your poundage. Don't worry about whatever you, everybody else is pulling. Everybody, 70 pounds is like the standard, I guess, out there right now. But uh, I was pulling 60 pounds for years. You know, I just felt it comfortable. I didn't want to have that. You know, that cold day and the buck of a lifetime comes and you've been sitting in your stand and you have trouble pulling back or you're, you're sky drawn, you're doing a lot of movement. So even this season now, I was pulling at 60, a little almost 61 pounds. I lowered it right now to 58. And I, I'm not ashamed of it, you know. I, I, could I pull more probably? But uh, I got a little bit of tendonitis in my wrist this year and uh, a little bit of my elbow. Every now and then my shoulder acts up and... Uh, I lowered my poundage a couple of pounds. I went there, I said, let's put it at 58. Lowered it, we were at 58. I said, good, I'm going to leave it. It's much easier to draw back. Uh, in fact, last season, there was a super cold day. and I, I love hunting super cold days. Just to, It's like a test of endurance. It was like five degrees. And uh, my wife goes, you going out? I go, yeah, I'm going out in the morning. And I actually, I had a couple of does. I wasn't going to shoot the does. I knew they were pregnant, but uh, I said, well, now's a good time, you know, I, when I see deer, I do a practice draw, see if they get busted, blah, 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 just go through the whole scenario of a hunt. And I had trouble pulling back. The fact that when I want to pull back, I had to let down real fast and do it again. Because I, uh, I was sitting down, I was cold, and uh, I wasn't doing anything for a few hours. And uh, I went to draw back, and I was like, oh, and I let down, I positioned myself a little better. And I said, you know what? I'm going to lower it a few pounds next season, which I did. So I'm pulling out 58 pounds. I just I just harvested a deer. Uh, no problem taking the animal 20 yards, 30 yards, whatever. Uh, even 40 I feel comfortable out to. You know, I readjusted my pins just a little bit. Really, it didn't make that much difference, to be honest with you, especially the 20. But uh, that's it. So don't be ashamed. Lower your poundage. Because I want to be able to. I'm 58 years old. I'm getting older. Little aches and pains. And in the morning sometimes, you know, it can be tough to, pu to pull back your bow. I know guys who are way over pounded and probably a lot of people out there who had an animal come by and they just couldn't kind of pull back their bow, at least the first time, and they were just ashamed to say it. They won't ever acknowledge it. Oh, I couldn't pull back my bow. Some people do, but I don't want to be that guy. I always wanted to make sure I'm comfortable and whatever I can pull efficiently that's what I pull. And a lot of guys in the past, like for the past 10 years, were like, I'm, I'm you know, I'll work out. I'm a pretty big guy, pretty strong. Like, oh, you only pull 60 pounds? And yeah, that's it. <laughs> you know, what's the big deal? You know, I'm, I'm getting kills. You know, I'm shot placement is good. So uh, I feel comfortable with that. So that's it. Bullets and broadheads. Don't be ashamed to lower your poundage if you have to. Who cares what you're pulling? As long as you make a good ethical shot. So that's it, Richie Bullets of Broadheads. Just wanted to make a quick video because I was, you know, I, a few weeks ago I went to my archery shop and uh, the owner who's been bow hunting, he pulls at 55 pounds now. He's like shoulder injuries throughout the years and, he, you know, he's a great shot. And uh, he goes, Yeah, I pull 55. I'm, what's, you know, I said, Yeah. You know, some people, people might be shocked by that, but he's been bow hunting for like 30 something years. And uh, maybe probably longer than that. And he says throughout the years, injuries and stuff like that. It's you know he doesn't he can't practice as much. He don't want to get surgery, so he feels comfortable at 55. And he's taking a lot of animals. So that's it. Bullets and broadheads over and out. Don't be ashamed. Lower that poundage if you have to.